All right, guys, as you know, I'm a terrible snaresman, and I learned through trial and error. Here I am measuring the snare. It's four and a half inches wide, four inches tall. That'll become important later. Obviously, I'm foreshadowing here. You can see some of my earlier attempts where the hairs just go right through, just blast right through. This This snare was too small, and the hair would just push it a push it away and they wouldn't uh they wouldn't get caught like ducking under there so let's do a couple establishing shots just to show you know everybody likes to establish your shots a bird and another bird so uh as you know i snare up north i can't snare around here so my my best way to do is just throw a snare up put the trail camera on i have a couple cute a uh, couple kids monitoring the situation for me to collect any anything i might catch so just how, here's my setup. Same spot as last time. Same little duck under branch. Just getting the spot ready here, clearing it out, uh, hanging the snare exactly the same place as it was last time. Except as I said, I went a little bit bigger this time, four and a half inches by four four inches wide. So just clearing that path out. And uh, this time I took a lot of people's advice. I did a chin up stick. I'll show that. That's just a little stick. It's a little small stick that hangs below. Here I am showing it. You can see it just at the base there, and that directs the hair. A lot of uh, professional or semi-professional snaresmen use that stick. They also use those vertical sticks on the side. Those are jammed into the ground just to kind of create a funnel. So I've done that on both sides. Here I am just clearing the area a little bit to make a nice pathway. The hair, we're using this pathway a lot in the winter. It's a little bit trickier to catch them in the spring. So there's that chin-up bar again, or chin-up branch. And here's how it's hung, so it just directs that. Okay, so we have the first trial here. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh no, the hair gets right through. Can you believe that? So right off the bat, I'm, I'm done. I already know this isn't going to work, but of course, I don't have that feedback from the trail camera. It's too big. So it's a matter of having that snare just the right size, not too big, not too small. Can't believe that. Again, just right through. So we know that that four inches is just too big. And here I am coming back the next day. The trail camera, I haven't checked, so I don't have the feedback. So I'm just trying to figure out what went wrong. And I just, at this point, I just figured hair didn't go through. And so I don't think anything's wrong about the size. So I'm just readjusting things. And uh, a lot of people said you have to make funnels, but don't make them too obvious. If an animal thinks something's different or weird, then they won't go through. So I'm just modifying the little branches here and there. But a lot of people, uh, some other people said, you know, just make a, you got to direct that animal in. So here I'm making a big funnel and changing the environment quite a bit because I don't want them to come through the backside. The backside, there's a very obvious and open spot where I am right now playing around with those branches where the hair can get through and avoid the area totally and I wanted I wanted them to come through that that one spot so I'm changing it around quite a bit and we're gonna get some feedback on what those changes how they influence the, the hair just in a second so just a few final changes last adjustments and then we get the first hair coming through let's see how he reacts So you can see it knows something's up, can't get through easily because I really filled that spot in. So what's it going to do? Is it going to take the path of least resistance and go through my snare? You got to remember the hair knows the snare is there, it can smell it. And it would just, it would rather push through than go through the, 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 the area where the snare is. So that's pretty amazing. So even if you make a funnel and you think it's a really good funnel, if an animal doesn't want to go through it, it won't. So the second take here, this is different, different hair or the same hair, doing the same kind of thing, just not going through it. All right, coming up right here now, we have our first hair that's actually committed to the trail. It's going to go through. Let's see what it does. Keep an eye on this. Uh, what? No! No, no! Hey, what did it do? Man, this deserves an instant replay. Let's check that again. Comes up to this, comes up to the snare. What? What? No! Oh, it totally karate chopped that thing out of the way. Let's watch this up close. Look at that. 
whack just pushes it over and then pops its head up in celebration that hair defeated us unbelievable totally amazing and then now that that branch is pushed over they pretty much have rule of it comes up sniffs it knows it's there hops around it no problem totally defeated now they have basically the run of the place there's no no reason that they need to go through that snare anymore couple more hair root moving around no problem now now that that thing's pushed down there's no way we're getting them amazing can't believe that and of course I've got no way to fix no it no rabbits nope no rabbits buddy these are my little helpers and then pretty soon we're gonna get a little bit of an insult to injury let's watch see what happens I'm seeing me can you see me camera Oh yeah, yeah you know camera goes, can see you buddy. You know what goes on Facebook? Yep, it does go on Facebook. Better be careful. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, yeah. Hey buddy, how's it going? What the dang? Whoa, hey, whoa. No. Hi, hi. My That's, never know. That's a camera buddy. Yeah. What? Let me see. Dude, don't. I'm That's a camera. Oh, now the color's all off. Can you hear me? I can hear you, buddy. Uh -huh. Hi. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, ah, one more. Thank you, ah. going there. Thanks for checking the camera, boys. Anyway, we're going to do this again. Um, I'm going to get myself hair and next, and stay tuned. Next time, we're, we're going to have a little bit of revenge on the hair. You'll see. They're catching cook. So stay tuned, guys.